Hey guys, wanted to go ahead and do a review of the Mic Booster CT1 by, by Clark Technic. You can find this for about 30 bucks um, on Amazon, and it's supposed to um, replace, or it's kind of like a uh, cloud lifter knockoff, and it's about 30 bucks. Versus with the cloud lifter, you're paying about 150 bucks, and you guys can decide for yourself whether this works for you or not. Uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you how it sounds without any cloud lifter and then later with the CT1 and then with a cloud lifter and go from there, okay? So um, right now I have this plugged into a Motu M2 uh, and I'm at about 3 p.m. Uh, on the dial, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase it to 4 p.m. and this is how it sounds, mic check, one, two, three. And now 5 p.m., mic check, one, two, three. This is how the audio sounds. Uh, I'm gonna pause here for a moment so you can hear the, the noise. In my opinion, that's actually not too bad, especially without a cloud lift. So I actually do feel that the Motu M2, you don't really need any of those other components. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to max it out now. So I'm completely maxed out. So microphone check, testing, you know, one, two, three. We are at max on the Motu M2. All right. So this is how it sounds on the Motu M2 without a cloud lifter and without a CT1. Again, I'm going to pause for a moment. Let me put it at a good sweet spot. So I'm going to put it about maybe about uh, four o'clock and pause right here. That's pretty dang quiet in my opinion. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is switch it out. So let me just, uh, we'll switch it out. All right, so now this is with the CT1 uh, plugged in and this is how it sounds. The CT1 kind of attaches right to the end of, um, end of the XLR cable and it's pretty nice. It looks about this small um, and we'll go from there. So now I'm at 12 p.m. Uh, on the Motu M2, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now switch it to uh, 1 p.m., microphone check, 1, 2, 3, testing, 1, 2, 3. That gets pretty hot already right there. And then now we're at 2 p.m. Uh, this is pretty hot, but I'm going to pause for a moment. That's a lot noisier than the Motu M2 maxed out. I'm going to pause for a moment. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start going to about 3 p.m., and... That starts getting pretty noisy in my opinion. Okay, now obviously it gets really loud, so maybe you're not going to actually put it this loud, so let me dip it back a bit, um, where it'd probably be more around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, so about here. But I can tell from listening to my headphones, that is actually louder in noise. <laughs> it, but it makes everything louder. It's almost like it cranks up your vol volume, but also cranks up your noise. But let me pause for a moment. Yeah, so that's the CT1. Um, all right, so here is the um, the SM7B connected to the cloud lifter, and we are now at 12 p.m. Uh, on the on the dial, um, and this is how it sounds. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to about 1 p.m. Mic check one two three, testing one two three. This is how it sounds. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to about. Uh, 2 p.m. Mic check went down. This is getting really, really, really loud. <laughs> so, um, so let me just dip back a bit. Um, and this is how it sounds. Mic check one, two, three. Uh, any any louder than this, and, and it just gets super loud. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna pause for a moment. And I can't be certain, but I'll double check here. But it seems to have less noise than the CT1. But I'll be able to tell by looking at um, a few graphs here in in a moment. Uh, but yeah, this is how it sounds. Mic check, one, two, three. Let me pause for a moment. Let me actually dip it down a little bit. Mic check, one, two, three. Yeah, that's quieter. So it seems to me that the cloud lifter not only pumps it up more, so you get more gain out of it, but you also get less noise and hiss. So it seems like, at least to my ears, uh, this little device here actually gives you, it's, it's louder. All right, so now what I'm going to do is just do a really unscientific way of looking at this, but I'm going to look at the noise floor of each of the three recordings. So this is the Motu M2 only, only, which I just recorded not so long ago, and this is when I was max gain, right? So uh, I'm going to select this here. Whoops, sorry. Um, sorry. I'm going to select this here, and I'm going to click on Waveform Stats. So here I'm getting negative 46 decibels for my noise floor. Uh, when I use the Motu M2 only. So, not the best, obviously, if you only just use the Motu M2. Now, let me double check with the CT1. So, this is the Motu M2 with the CT1. I had a noise floor right here. I remember thinking it was hot, but I'm looking here, it looks less. 
Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on waveform stats, and I'm sitting at around negative 51 decibels, which is not too bad. And let's click on the noise floor. Shit, sorry. Let's check on the noise floor right here. When I click on the, um, the waveform stats here, negative 57, that's pretty good. So that tells me right off the bat, I might be wrong here. It, it might be that the CT1 actually does give you less noise uh, and increases the volume. Look how high this is. Um, so my previous statements might have been wrong. And now check out the SM7B with the cloud lifter. Um, when I uh, you know zoom out, this is when I was talking right here, right? Look at, this is the noise floor right here. Like, let, let me double check. Let me actually dip it down. See, this is when I start being really quiet. And let's check the um, waveform stats. Negative 58. So um, overall, it seems that you can hit around near, damn near close to negative 60 dB for noise floor with using either the CT1 or the cloud lifter. But if you are only using the Mode 2 M2, you're going to be hovering at around um, negative 46 decibels. So you can, in, in, in summation, you can use a cloud lifter with an SM7B, but you're going to get a noise floor of around negative 46 decibels, at least when I do it. Um, but when you use the, C the CT1, obviously you can see, oh shit, I clicked on the wrong thing here. Um, you can see that you're hitting about negative 57 here uh, on the Mo2 M2 with this, you know, which is not bad at all. Uh, let me just double check here. This is, and remember, this is super hot. Let me just check the waveform stats here. I'm hitting about negative 51 decibels here. Not too bad. SM7B. Let's uh, take a look here. Um, I think I was kind of, I was quiet right about here. Right. Let's see. Let's go to waveform stats. You know, negative 61. So yeah, overall, it is. I would say there is value in getting the CT1 um, or the cloud lifter. Uh, because they get you much closer to that sweet spot of negative 60 decibels. When I do on the Mo2 M2 only, which was right here, um, I'm hitting around negative 46 decibels, which is not good. <laughs> so that's that in a nutshell.